So if you guys didn't already know, Oregon defensive back and 2024 fourth round pick for the Minnesota Vikings, Kyrie Jackson, has recently passed away in a car accident. So with that being said, in his honor, we're going to be simulating the career of Kyrie Jackson with the Minnesota Vikings. So this is what I have for Kyrie Jackson's stats. He has an 87 overall speed, but he has 92 acceleration, 75 man, 71 zone, 79 agility, 88 jumping here, 74 awareness. He is a 71 overall on my original roster, so that's what I'm keeping him at. He also, of course, has star dev here. We're going to see how he pans out with the Minnesota Vikings. He is currently a scheme fit with them as well. He has a four-year contract, and I'm pretty sure everything is on auto, so anything that Kyrie Jackson does, it's up to the AI whether he stays here or goes goes to a different team but let's see how his career pans out and just skip into the playoffs because this is a career simulation I'm not going to do anything at the midseason mark I'm not scouting anything I'm not going to be the coach I'm just going to be following Kyrie Jackson specifically and here we are in the playoffs making the playoffs here to face the nine and eight Green Bay Packers we have some XP points here for Kyrie Jackson as he is currently a 71 overall. We have three XP points for him. So it's a nice start to his rookie career. He has a morale boost for being in the playoffs in his first year. Plus three main coverage, plus one press here as he's now moving up to a 75 overall with the boost. Plus one catching, plus three man coverage. All right, that man coverage is getting smacked right now, of course, because we're upgrading it. Plus two awareness, plus one man coverage, plus one play rack. His main coverage is up to an 84 overall with the boost. You would like to see a speed increase. I believe at the combine, he ran like a four or five something I don't remember exactly because of course I'm not going to be able to remember every single player but let's see how the team did in terms of record we went 14 and 3 top of the division with JJ McCarthy for some reason it won't show you it on the main screen but that is amazing for Kyrie Jackson and the Minnesota Vikings as JJ McCarthy here is a baller it seems like as other than I want to see what actually JJ McCarthy did here real quick let me see passing wise I mean 14 receptions isn't the best 24 to 14 but still we're 14 and 3 that's that's what matters here defensively Kyrie Jackson with 88 tackles third for the team in tackles as a defensive back 14 assists 74 solo one tackle for a loss zero sacks no interceptions is unfortunate but six pass deflections solid rookie year here for Kyrie Jackson almost having a thousand starts as well but since we are at the top of the division can we beat our divisional rivals the nine and eight Green Bay Packers to move on to the divisional round here and we do not we lose to the Packers that is unfortunate let's just move in to the next season maybe is there any off season training I guess we'll find out and there was no off season training but there was preseason XP that we did get here and we only got one preseason XP as he is up to a 75 overall going into his next season a lot of upgrades here in ability slot he has superstar dev I guess I'm bugging dude he got superstar dev what did he get it for though is my question Super Bowl week he did get superstar dev but for what reason? It's not going to give it to me, but I don't really care. Superstar dev for Kyrie Jackson. He's not a return man. So I guess we're just going to have to do recuperation for now. And his tags are, he wants to be paid. He wants that bag. He doesn't want to live in Minnesota. He doesn't want to pay income tax. So again, he wants that bag and he likes the scheme fit that he's currently in. So that's what we got going on. Kyrie Jackson, absolute baller already. Superstar dev. Let's see how we do for year number two in the playoffs. But before we do that, let's set a season goal. He didn't have any receptions last year. I'm hoping to get at least one this year. So I'm going to do past deflections just as six. So that way I can always get free XP every single season. And now let's move into the playoffs for Kyrie Jackson's year number two with the team. And back-to-back -back years, we are in the playoffs here to face the 12-5 Bears. I wish it would actually show me who's a home team and who's a away team. We're going to... Sh I guess we're the away team because it says Soldier Field. So maybe that's just the Bears stadium in general that they're playing. But I don't know if we're there. Either way, I'll find out in a second whenever I decide. Actually, I'm stupid. I could have just looked at this in the first place. And we are the seventh seed. So, of course, Bears are going to have the home field advantage here. Should have just used my brain. But either way, we are in the playoffs. Kyrie Jackson, 75 overall with another three new skill points for the team as he is in the green now. 76 overall, awareness, man coverage, and tackle. And then once again, we're just going to keep pumping man coverage. Don't need to do anything else for him. Agility, awareness, jumping, more man coverage, of course. And then he is now up to a 78 overall after only two years in the league. Uh, plus two awareness, plus one man coverage. He's already 25 years old. He was 24 as a rookie because the extra eligibility, el eh, eligibility from COVID and stuff up to an 87 overall man coverage already is crazy. He's about to have a higher man coverage skill than he will have speed. Hopefully we can upgrade that. But zone coverage is only 71. Don't really care about that. He's a scheme fit. That's what matters. So let's see the team records. In the NFC North, we finished third in the division as the Packers and the Bears are both over us. I don't know how the Lions finish as the worst team in the 
the league. The boy JJ McCarthy, he was out for half the year. Did, uh, what did we do? Did I not turn off injury? I guess I didn't turn off injury or Baker Mayfield. Maybe JJ McCarthy. I don't know what happened here. Okay, that's weird. I need to turn off injury if I don't already have that. No, injury is turned off. So I guess what happened is they signed Baker Mayfield. Then after signing Baker Mayfield through training camp, JJ McCarthy got more XP and then started over okay baker mayfield so i guess that's really weird situation that you got going on there but it is what it is then Kyrie jackson 70 tackles this year but he got an interception this year that's what matters he got 14 receptions yards and another six pass deflection season so that's more xp for him and there's no other stats here for him five snaps shy from a thousand snap season but let's see if we can beat the chicago bears here to get Kyrie jackson his first ever nfl playoff win here did he win a playoff game with Oregon? I don't think Oregon made the playoffs whenever he was there. Could be completely bugging about that, but we lose. Once again, at least our passing defense is ranked sixth in the NFL. Let's move in to the next season for year number three with Kyrie Jackson. And here we are after the preseason. No XP for us, but we're going to set a season goal here. Year number three for Kyrie Jackson. We got to get, let's try and get three interceptions. Come on, man. You only got one so far. It's been two years. Hopefully you can do more. You seem like you've been locking down, deflecting passes. Unfortunately, in Madden, you can't see how many yards a corner has allowed in their stats for some reason. It's really frustrating whenever you go to the stats tab. Maybe can I look at it from his player card himself? Oh, and he now has Superstar X Factor. Okay, I don't, I don't know how I keep getting these. He, it's not like he's having the number one season. I guess I'm just getting these because he's existing and I'm specifically using him, but I'm not complaining. Let's go. And as he's going to have bottleneck, uh, what do I do? Universal coverage. Let's do shutdown for him. Any other upgrades here? Strip specialist? Sure. Actually, let's just keep him on the field as much as we possibly can. Stats and contracts. Let's see. Any yards allowed stat here? No, that's really lame to not have that for a corner as that's one of the essential features to what makes a corner good or bad but either way you number three for Kyrie Jackson we don't know if he's going to stay with the team we don't know how well his team will be but for now let's see who we have as our starters since it's year number three Baker Mayfield over JJ McCarthy I don't like that because JJ McCarthy is usually a baller in simulation got Aaron Jones still and then for the receiving core, it's still balling. We got Marcus Gray here, another superstar receiver for our core here. I like Baker, but JJ McCarthy in simulation is better. We got TJ Hawkinson. O-line is still good, but defensively, we got Marshawn Keeland. Okay, um, Neeland, my bad, not Keeland, but I guess we, he's starting. Charles Amenahu, Harrison Phillips, kind of a weak defensive line here. Blake Cashman. Ivan Pace, and then Dallas Turner's behind Andrew Van Ginkle. I don't like that. Byron Murphy, Kyrie Jackson, and then free safety, Derek Forrest, and then Reed Blankenship. All right, so we got an interesting team here. Hopefully we can make the playoffs three times in a row, but let's see how it goes and move into the playoff. And we missed the playoffs here, or we either had the one seed. That could be one of two things. I wish it would just straight up tell me. But Kyrie Jackson, he's going to make it to an 81 overall after all these upgrades and just keep pumping that man coverage, plus three pr press and plus one zone coverage and man coverage. The game is finally recognizing that I will never ever pump zone coverage here as we have a new ability slot. And that's another thing you want to keep pumping these higher overalls because if I choose zone, sometimes he may not go up a whole overall so um yeah it's better just to do this plus one speed plus two zone coverage now with the new ability slot what are we gonna have here unfakeable we're gonna do on the ball here keep recuperation on as well as he is an 81 overall of course 26 years old 88 speed now 90 man coverage without the morale down so yeah with the morale down i'm assuming we did not make the playoffs and we're definitely not a first seed here in the NFC North, we finished third in the division, 7-10. and 10. Unfortunate. Again, I wish JJ McCarthy was starting because he is a baller in simulation. Stats and awards. Let's see what we got here. JJ McCarthy is the starter now. What is happening with our offense, dude? So I guess they're rotating between Baker and JJ. I don't know what at all they're doing, but McCarthy has 16 interceptions. So I guess he's not the baller I thought he was. And Baker had 114 pass rating whenever he was starting. Defensively, though, what we're actually here for, Kyrie Jackson, 80 tackles. That's a record high for him. No interceptions, no sacks, no tackles for a loss. Six pass deflections again. He seems to be pretty stagnant here. Basically the same season almost every season. I mean, more tackles now, but only one interception in three seasons. It's pretty upsetting, but either way, he has X Factor, so he can definitely reach that level, hopefully soon. Anyways, we're going into his fourth and final season of his contract. Let's see what we do with Kyrie Jackson and move into season number four. Now into the next season, no preseason XP. Once again, there should be off-season training XP, but passes defended, I'm just gonna go six 
once again because that seems to be his normal number give him some free xp here but either way with the team any other changes that i'll notice or point out let me see real quick jj mccarthy does seem to be the starter because he is much higher overall and he is a lot younger even though they paid baker mayfield so let's see, we'll see how that goes derrick henry is now on the team instead of aaron jones interesting and for kyrie jackson's fourth year he has now made it back into the playoffs making the playoffs three times in four years with his career with the vikings he's about to be up to an 84 overall this man coverage skill is about to go crazy as we just keep pumping it over and over and over again let's see how he does here awareness catching plus two tackle play rack they're slowly increasing man coverage now because they're no they know he's becoming too overpowered plus two awareness plus two man coverage and he's up to an 84 overall without the boost one more overall increase and he gets another ability slot 93 man coverage is crazy after being four years in the NFL well after this season it'll be four years only 74 zone coverage but we don't care about that that doesn't matter we're balling in man coverage that's all that matters here for Kyrie Jackson but we're here to face the Chicago Bears once more and this is his fourth season and he still has yet to win a playoff game well it's not him specifically of course it's the Vikings our offense hasn't really been doing that great but in the NFC North we finished third in the division nine and eight barely weaseling our way into the playoffs as the Bears take the division and it looks like five Finally, we found our QB. JJ McCarthy seems to be like an absolute baller here. He's only seventh for league MVP. Let's see the defensive back of the year. Are we even in here or remotely in the conversation? We are not remotely in the conversation. Upsetting, but let's see how JJ did. Really good. Really good. We might want to stay with the team now, to, now that I see this with JJ McCarthy. QB of the future tag. Does he get superstar dev? He only has star dev right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if he got superstar dev after the season. But again, we're going back to Kyrie Jackson. I just want to check on our future QB because if we have a baller in JJ McCarthy, I want Kyrie Jackson to stay here in Minnesota. I want him to have a winning team, but I also want him to get that bag. 89 tackles, four tackles for a loss, zero sacks, zero interceptions, and then a pass deflections, eight. So this is definitely the best seasons he's had yet. Most tackles, most tackles for a loss. He hasn't had a sack in his career yet. He's only had one interception in four seasons, but this is most pass deflections in a season as well. And he has a thousand starts here for his first time in his career. Barely over it, but a win's a win here. Let's see if we can get a win here, upsetting the Minnesota Vikings as they have Quan Theory at defensive end, superstar X Factor, and Kevin Byard is also a superstar X Factor. They are 13 4. Can we please win one playoff game with Kyrie Jackson? We do not. As we lose another, our defensive passing game, look at our defensive ranks. They're terrible, dude. Defensive passing game is 23rd. That is unfortunate for the team. But let's see if Kyrie Jackson, do I have to go to the offseason and see if there's a resigning, or will Kyrie Jackson make the decision himself? So I don't see anything here for Kyrie Jackson for the re-signings, but in the next week, we should be able to see the re-signings for Kyrie Jackson. And there is not an option here to re-sign. So I guess the AI does it themselves. Maybe if I'm bugging, tell me in the comments if I'm just completely doing it wrong. Maybe I can demand a release, but I can't see anything. Maybe I'll have to edit the player, but let me move into free agency and see if that changes anything. That does not change anything. We're still on the same team. Does he have a new contract is the question now. He's already 28 years old, four years in the league, so he's about to start regression in this next season, which is unfortunate, but let's see what he has for his contract. He got a two-year contract with the Vikings. He has His overall interest is none. He didn't really get that high of an offer. He still has state income tax, but at least he's a scheme, scheme fit. I don't know why he settled here. Maybe should I move? Because, I mean, JJ McCarthy seems like a baller though. So we still have yet to win a playoff game. We got a two-year contract. I guess I'm just going to let the AI do what the AI wants. I don't want to force anything. Kyrie Jackson wants to stay here. He's going to stay here. We have $5 million a year for two years, which is really disrespectful for being a superstar X Factor. His interest is not very high here, but it is what it is. We signed the contract. We're going to stay here until we're 30, I guess. But for now, let's move into the next season. Year number five for Kyrie Jackson and the team here. As he's an 84 overall, and once again, no preseason XP. I guess they're benching him for the rookies for the preseason XP, which does make sense. Pass is defended, and we just want to get that free XP for him, so why not? Year number five, hopefully we can make the playoffs and actually win a playoff game here. Did JJ McCarthy get Superstar Dev? That would be awesome for the longevity of the team. He does get Superstar Dev, as he is the same overall as Kyrie Jackson now. But Kyrie Jackson is 28, and JJ McCarthy is 24. Quite the age gap for being in the same draft class. But either way, Kyrie Jackson is and he also has superstar x factor so that's what matters and also i believe jj mccarthy started at a 73 overall while kyrie jackson only started at 71 so he's come a longer way let's move into the playoffs for year number five for kyrie jackson 
Here we are in the playoffs once again, this time to face the San Francisco 49ers at this rate. Do I think Kyrie Jackson will ever win a playoff game with the Vikings? I don't know. But still, he has two new skill points here at 28. I guess he's not earning as much, but still he's a higher overall, so I guess it's harder to earn. Plus four press and an ability slot is amazing. Plus two man coverage, plus one play rec and um, zone coverage. Was that zone coverage? It doesn't matter. Either way, he's the ability slot. Plus three press once again. What is his press rating at this point? My God, my man coverage is at 95 overall with the boost. Press is at an 86. Zone coverage, we still don't care about abilities wise. What do we want? Uh, flat zone KO, mid zone KO. We're going to do that. Tip drill, short route KO. Let's actually check. Let's do short route KO, mid zone KO, and anything else, deep route KO. And outside shade, inside shade, ability, faster cut moves, and main coverage inside the numbers. And outside the numbers. Let's just do inside shade, short route KO, mid zone KO. So he's kind of the middle of the field guy, but he's locked down in the middle of the field, not quite locked down deep. Either way, he's 6'4", 194. He should be able to press you at the line pretty nicely with the 86 press, 95 man coverage is amazing. As the Vikings finished 10 and seven, second in the division. Wow, Lions made a huge comeback from being one of the worst teams in the NFL. Well, actually the worst team in the NFL. I remember whenever they were ranked 32nd. As always, just checking on our franchise guy. Seems to be balling 38 touchdowns to eight interceptions, 114 pass rating. I guess we're doing the career sim of JJ McCarthy as well. Not really, because I'm just following wherever Kyrie goes. Then Zach Charbonnet with 12 touchdowns. So that's cool for him. I don't even know why I'm checking him. But either way, Kyrie Jackson, 96 tackles is great for defensive back. Six tackles for a loss and a sacks. Man is coming in on these nickel blitzes, even though he's 6'4", so he should be a boundary corner. But still, this seems like his best season yet. No interceptions. Once again, only five pass deflections. So I guess he's being used more as a run defender, more like a safety, more than an actual defensive back. I mean, he's 6'4", 194, so he definitely could play free safety. So that wouldn't be the baddest thing in the world if he made the switch even. Would that even be a horrible idea for Kyrie Jackson? We have Derek Forrest at free safety, Reed Blankenship at strong safety, but I honestly don't think it would be the worst decision to push Kyrie back to free safety here. I know we're low on DBs. They just drafted a new DB evidently. He only has normal dev. But would it be the worst thing in the world to move this dude to free safety? He seems like he's playing a lot better there. I don't want to ruin his career here by switching it. But it seems like he's doing a lot better on the ground game. He's not getting much interceptions, but maybe he's just locking down so hard to where he doesn't need to be a ball hawk. Let's see if we can get our first playoff win here. Year number five with Kyrie Jackson against the Niners. And we do get our very first playoff win with Kyrie Jackson here. Here against the Philadelphia Eagles. Can we beat them to move on to the conference championship for Kyrie Jackson? And we do here to face the Carolina Panthers. Let's play in this conference championship. I have never played as a defensive back before, so I'm sure I'm going to get absolutely grilled here. You know what? Why not just play it? I'm going to play as Kyrie Jackson the entire time, and we're going to see how that goes. Here we are against the Panthers. I'm not going to play as Kyrie Jackson himself in this unless I need to hop in because you can't do it. If you turn on-field control off, it just does this weird thing to where you have to play as them as the entire game. You can't simulate parts of it. Either way, our offense is doing good. Defense maybe needs to step up a little bit. We'll see the key moments here. Third down alert. I'm not going to be playing any offensive drives here, but defensively, fourth down, fourth and inches. What do we have? I'm going to, of course, user Kyrie Jackson here as we're going to be running a pinch here. And I'm going to switch. Can I switch the frames, please? Yes, I can. Oh, no. I want to be Kyrie. Where's Kyrie? I want to be Kyrie. No, 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 no. Get inside. No. Oh, my gosh. First and 10. Wanted to be Kyrie Jackson. I didn't know how that worked, but they got Tajay Spears now, which is interesting. Either way, let's see how this goes by the end of the game. I honestly don't care about this part. And it's 27-27, and we're going to punt. Did we seriously just choke that game? Yeah, we choked it. Okay, 27 to 30. That is an unfortunate loss, how we were holding that the entire way. And then it just comes down to that, and we just choke it away. Unfortunate conference championship loss. Dude, Byron Murphy seriously made the Pro Bowl over us, dude. What did Byron Murphy do that we didn't? Probably get an interception. Year number six for Kyrie Jackson in the final year of his two-year contract that he had with the Vikings. Just going to keep going with the passes defended as six 
Hopefully we can make it back to the conference championship, maybe go for another run. Best year for Kyrie Jackson last year in terms of the record for the team progressing to the conference championship and in terms of stats. Let's see how he does for year number six. And the year number eight for Kyrie Jackson is, wait, year number six. And yeah, year number six, not year number eight. Year number six for Kyrie Jackson is unfortunate. The defensive ranks suck and we miss the playoffs once again. And for Kyrie Jackson's upgrade, only one skill point after being the age of 29 here and just being a higher overall makes it harder. Plus two zone coverage, plus one man coverage, even though I upgraded a man-to-man, -man, 95 man coverage without a boost. And zone coverage is a 76, 93 acceleration, 91 jumping, 93 awareness. He looks amazing. Any new abilities that I can get on him specifically? I don't think I want anything here, but either way, he looks really, really good. Let's see how he did for his stats. Team wins 8-9. Barely missed the playoffs, but I guess it's fine. JJ McCarthy seems like to be a baller once again. Looks like we have a new leader for the tackle. And uh, Quandre Hurts, the new top defensive back around here. Is he a higher overall than us? No, he's an 83 at start of. He's 26 years old. He's right on our tail for the age thing. But uh, Jackson here, Kyrie Jackson, 78 tackles, 62 solo, two tackles for a loss, two interceptions. There we go, nine pass deflections. So he is slowly getting better, but at the same time, he is 29. So he is actually starting regression at the same time. But either way, we want to get this man a ring. That is the primary goal, or we get him that absolute bag. And speaking of which, he is in the final year of his contract. Hopefully he gets a bag in the offseason. Let's see who he goes to in the offseason. Just simulate to the next season and see if he ends up in a new jersey. Now, this man said his interest was to actually be in a warm other state but it doesn't seem like that's the case as he still stays in minnesota at the age of 30 gonna do passes defended six once again he has yet to get double digits in that but i'm sure he could get it at some point either way here let's see what we have for his player card how far is he regressing now that he is 30 years old his progression history can I scroll down here? I mean, it doesn't really seem like it's too much here. So we're fine with that. But ratings wise, he's doing pretty nice as well. And then let's see this contract. Contract wise, he only got a one year deal for 8 million. Sure, you're getting paid 2 million a year more, but his overall interest is in the red. What is this man doing? Like, if he signs another one-year contract with this team, dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to demand a release, and then we're going to warm weather state because we cannot have this man retiring in cold Minnesota, which he does not even like, and him not get a bag or a ring. We need this man to get something here. Let's move in to the playoffs. And it looks like we missed the playoffs once again. Our defensive passing game is the worst in the league. Okay, <laughs> upsetting for Kyrie Jackson and the team. But Kyrie Jackson, another two skill points as he's up to a 90 overall with the morale boost. So many upgrades here. Plus one press, plus two zone coverage. The AI is finally forcing me to get zone coverage upgrades. The thing that I don't want. Plus four tackle, plus two zone coverage. As their zone coverage is up to an 80 overall with the boost. 98 overall man coverage with the boost. And then his acceleration went down from a 95, I believe, to a 94. Still 88 speed. Isn't the best, but isn't the worst, you know? And we finished 13 and 4, and we actually make the playoffs with the worst defensive back group in the league. I thought we missed it just because we didn't have a wild card round, but I was completely wrong. Maybe he wants to stay because he knows that the Vikings could win their first ring here in history, as we have the third best offense in the league defensively. We are 28th. All right, then. I'm not touching the playbooks. I'm not changing anything. I can't even do that if I wanted to. But Kyrie Jackson, 82 tackles, and then one tackle for a loss, zero sacks, four interceptions. Did that lead the team? It does lead the team. Team. Thank you, Kyrie Jackson. He's balling now. And then he has nine passing and deflections as well. No other stats here for him. I don't know if he's ever had a pick six yet. But either way, he's doing really well now. You love to see it. But who will we be facing in the divisional round? I'm honestly going to be simulating all the way to the Super Bowl if we make it there. Can we beat the divisional rivals, the Chicago Bears, to go back? to the conference championship here. And we do here to face the New York Giants, Dexter Lawrence, Kayvon Thibodeau, and Brian Burns. They got a killer defensive line there. Can we beat that defensive line and go to the Super Bowl? And I don't know. Um, maybe. Let's see the playoff bracket, which EA would just show me. We do not. We lose 10 to 13. Our offense only allowing... Our offense only gaining 10 points. I mean, yes, they had three superstar X-Factors on defense. That sucks. We probably would have lost the Chiefs anyways, but... Back-to-back -back conference championship years, not back-to-back. -back. I was wrong on that, but let's see if Kyrie Jackson decides to stay with the Vikings for another year after going to another conference championship. We will find out. He was only on a one-year deal. Mad disrespectful, but let's see 
who he goes with in the next season. This man refuses to be in a warm weather state despite his player interest. I mean, he doesn't want to specifically be in a warm weather state, but at the same time, he doesn't want state income tax. So I guess I should say this man refuses to uh, not pay taxes. So... <laughs> I mean, he's a law-abiding law -abiding citizen, so good for him. I mean, he's still not getting an absolute bag, and he's down to an 86 overall after being an 89 overall. Didn't know 31 years old would hit Unk this hard, as he has a minus 17 in regression here as his acceleration is going down, his man coverage. The highest we saw it was a 98 overall with the boost, 96 without the boost. So he was balling. What's this man's new contract here with the team? Okay, so he's getting almost 11 million a year for one year. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I think I'm just gonna demand a release if I don't get a new team in the next season. If I keep getting these one-year contracts, I'm gonna be upset. And I'm getting one-year contracts to be with a team that's not necessarily winning conference championships. They're not winning anything relevant. I'm not getting a bag, and I'm still having to pay state income tax. We're not winning here as Kyrie Jackson. He he's self-sabotaging right now. The AI is self-sabotaging him. We don't like this at all, but he got three interceptions last year, so I'm going to commit to a goal of three interceptions. Well, technically it was four, but... This will be his final year in Minnesota unless we win a conference championship. I am saying that now. we got to get this man out of Minnesota and out of here completely. Let's move into the playoffs so that way he can be 31 years old. I don't even know what year this is. Who cares? Here we are in the playoffs once again in year 2030 with Kyrie Jackson at 86 overall as he's now going to be boosted back to an 87 overall, 88 overall with the morale, plus two play rec and plus two press form. His press is back to an 86 with the boost. In the NFC North, Vikings are 12 and 5, second in the division, barely missing out on the top seed. Seems that JJ McCarthy is still that guy, top three quarterback in the league, sixth best offense in the NFL, defensively 18th. I'm not changing the playbook because that's just how it is. And then what do we have? Oh, we got Jabril Peppers on the team now. And then where? Is, oh, we got Julian Blackman as well. Kyrie Jackson, 68 tackles, 59 solo tackles, one interception, no sacks, no tackles for a loss, 20 receptions, yards, nine passing deflections. And he still has yet to have like pick six, I think. Maybe I missed in the previous seasons, but I guess I'll just check it out real quick. And four defensive touchdowns. He has never had a defensive touchdown in his career. Upsetting, but hey, he's an X factor. That's what matters. Can we beat the Seattle Seahawks in the wild card to go back? to the divisional round here and we do not losing in the wild card round Kyrie Jackson I'm going to simulate to see the offseason if he resigns on another one-year contract I'm demanding release this man cannot no way this man's fooling himself to staying in Minnesota after losing this much he either needs a ring he needs a bag or he needs to retire in a no income tax state we need to get one of those things done because those are part of his interest, but the AI just does not seem to care. And I'm in the free agency period, and this dude is still wearing a Vikings jersey. What are you doing, man? I'm going to demand a release. The AI has to be forcefully signing him back. There's no way this man has zero interest with the team year after year, and he keeps signing these garbage one-year contracts. He has no interest in being here. He has absolutely zero interest in being here, and the AI keeps signing him to these garbage contracts. We're demanding him to a release. Either he gets a bag, he gets a ring, or he retires in a no income tax state. That's his interest, and we're going to stay true to that here. So where is this demand release thing? Because I'm done with this team. Yes, we're demanding release. We're getting out of here. We are now a free agent. Oh, we might be cooked. We still don't have offers, boys. We, we might just be cooked. Let's, let's see what we have. Oh, never mind. We got six teams having an interest in us, but... They're all one-year contracts, probably. Oh, these are all terrible deals. We're getting no bags here. Is there a no-income tax state I can go to? Oh, no. Washington, that's a no-income tax state, and we lost them last year. So, I guess Washington's the only place. I mean, why? I don't know why I keep thinking warm weather state is in his interest, because it's not really, I mean, I guess Atlanta, it's not really warm weather, but it's not really bad either. Uh, Louisiana, I don't want to live in New Orleans, but I mean, Seahawks offer the least amount of money here. I mean, the commanders do, but at the same time, like it's no, it's no state income tax. We're not a good scheme fit there. I'm going to do a one year contract with the Seahawks and see how that goes because that's the best thing we got. We're not a good scheme fit there, but it's, it's no state income tax in Washington. So we're going to sign with the Seattle Seahawks, see how that works out for us. As they were only 8-9 last year, but they did beat us. Oh, he looks clean in that. Oh, he's got Cam Chancellor's jersey number two. Bam Cam? No way. We're going to be Bam Cam, boys. Also, what is their 
What is their, what's your, we call it? Why am I blanking? What's their free safety looking like? If their free safety is bad, I'll move him back to free safety. Oh no, he's not. Jamal Shelby looks like an absolute baller. They don't have a strong safety. Maybe we could move back. I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's look at their DBs right now, actually. Their DB core, Devin Witherspoon. I mean, it's honestly really good. But yeah, with that being said, since their DB core is, looks really good and they're lacking a strong safety, they have a free safety. I'm going to do it. I know some people may not want to see it. They may look away. We're using Bam Cam Chancellor's number and we are moving back. To, no, I was going to say we're moving back to strong safety. I guess I'm not allowed to change that. That's uh, unfortunate, but it is what it is, I guess. I guess we're going to stay at corner with this mega depth at corner and we're going to see how we do as this is the 31st in defensive passing ranks for the Seahawks, even though their safety is an X factor and they have hella depth at DB. I don't know if that makes any sense, but We'll see how we do. Let's move to the next season. In the next season, we are starting off at an 83 overall, which is unfortunate. We're on the downtrend. We're 32 years old with Kyrie Jackson right now. Haven't really been too far in our NFL career, but we started at the age of 24. But we're going to see how long this man goes. I don't know if this man's going to be able to go to the age of 40. Do I have to retire or does the AI have to retire? I think it might be easier if I just let the if I switch out of this and go to coach mode, because I'm pretty sure right here, I would have to retire. I would have to demand release. And I've been probably doing this wrong the entire time. So I think I'm just going to switch to coach mode real quick. So I'm in coach mode now, and I'm not going to change any of the playbooks or anything like that, because I'm pretty sure if we want to see a realistic career simulation without the AI just pushing devs or anything, and uh, I'm of course going to start Kyrie Jackson over Devin Witherspoon and all these guys because I want him to get like real reps with the team and I'll keep switching if I have to. And also these guys, this guy's clearly could be a strong safety here, so I'm going to move him over there. I'm not trying to rig things for the team, but I'm just trying to realistically reposition our team, which kind of is what a coach would do. But this is how we're going to work out with it. So don't worry about it. Kyrie Jackson is going to stay the number one here. I'm not going to change any of the schemes. I'm not going to change any of the playbooks. I'm not trying to be biased in any way. We got Sam Howell as a baller QB for the Seattle Seahawks. But for now, let's move in to the playoffs and see what Kyrie Jackson does with his career. And of course, everything else on auto, I'm not going to be re-signing anyone or anything like that. And we go eight and nine, miss the playoffs. Last year, the Seahawks were 8-9, and, and they made the playoffs. But let's see how your boy did. Kyrie Jackson, don't care about any of these other stats. Kyrie Jackson, where is the man himself? 66 tackles and an interception this time. No tackles for a loss, no sacks. And then 18 interceptions yards, 6 pass deflections, and then no other stats here for Kyrie Jackson. But will he stay on the Seahawks? I'm pretty sure I kept staying with the Vikings last time because I wasn't in a coach mode and I had to force myself to be demanded to release or else they would auto sign me. So let's see where Kyrie Jackson goes and just move into the next season. Now the question is, did the man Kyrie Jackson stay with the Seattle Seahawks? He did sign for another year at least with the Seahawks as he is 33 years old. Damn, Unk. You need, a, you need to wrap it up. Three million? I mean, at least his interest is up. He doesn't have to pay state income tax. But like, damn, um, three million a year? I mean, I, I guess it is what it is. I guess I'm just going to leave him in the slot here. Do I have him in the slot? Yeah, we're going to put him there in the slot defensively. Devin Witherspoon is going to be the number one. Hopefully this team, it, the team looks baller, but the AI doesn't seem to think so, probably because I'm using it. 33 years old, Kyrie Jackson. Let's move into the playoff. And we win the division, 10 and 7, top of the division. We like to see that, top of the division, win the division, same thing. Defensive passing game is 28th. Here to face our former team, the 12 and 5 Minnesota Vikings, as their passing game is 16th. Kyrie Jackson with 82 tackles, two tackles for a loss, and no sacks, no interceptions, six pass deflections. And any other stats here for him? No, unfortunately not for Kyrie Jackson. But can we beat our former team? in the Minnesota Vikings, but this time we got no state income tax, so we ballin'. I don't think we're going to beat J.J. McCarthy, but we actually do. 24 to 21, here to face the 12 and 5 New York Giants to potentially go back to the conference championship here, and we do. Here to face the 10 and 7 Philadelphia Eagles, will Kyrie Jackson appear in his first ever Super Bowl? He does not, as we lose 20 to 6 as our offense is the reason why we sell again. He's appeared in three conference championships and has won none of them. 
Unk needs a Super Bowl ring. And we only have $1.7 million in available salary cap, so I don't even know if Unk's going to get the re-signing. Let's see what team he signs to in the next season or if he even gets signed to another team. Did Kyrie Jackson re-sign for his third year with the Seattle Seahawks? I don't see an X factor here. Where is Kyrie Jackson? He is not on the Seahawks. Hopefully, he's not a free agent. At most, he probably retired, I would assume here. Thankfully, there's a legacy leaderboard I can just immediately move to and see where he's at. And I think it's doing that glitch right now because I have to sort this by ABC order. Sometimes it glitches and whenever they retire, they just don't even show up on any of the legacy board. So where's K for Kyrie and then Jackson? We need my boy Kyrie Jackson. Any? No, no J's here. So yeah, it goes by first name, not last name. So for all the K's here, there is no Kyrie Jackson, which means he retired, which is part of the glitch in Madden. So he had two teams, the Seattle Seahawks and the Minnesota Vikings. He retired after the age of 33. I don't get to see his overall stats, which is pretty annoying because they just remove him off the legacy board, which is a glitch, but he was a superstar X factor. He did have some solid stats. And for a fourth round pick, he was definitely baller for a fourth round pick. He didn't win any rings, but he did finish his career with no state income tax. We like to see that. It was a solid scheme fit here for the Seahawks in his later years with the team. He made it to three conference championships, didn't win any of them, never appeared in a Super Bowl, which is unfortunate, but he did get a solid amount of money with a solid career here with the Seattle Seahawks, Minnesota Vikings. I think his high was whenever he had that four interceptions with the Minnesota Vikings, and then he lost in the conference championship the same year with the Vikings. So a very solid career for Kyrie Jackson. On a scale of one to 10, I would have rated a seven, especially since he started as a fourth round pick. If you started as a first round pick, probably it would be around like a six or a five because that'd be a moderate career for a first round pick. But for a day three pick, yeah, I would say a seven or an eight for an X for being an X factor. That was a great year. Well, great career here for Kyrie Jackson. You love to see it. Unfortunately, no rings, but he did get to retire a team of interest. I finally forced it there at the end. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. I thank you guys all for watching. That will be the career simulation for Kyrie Jackson. Let me know which player down in the comments below you want me to do a career simulation of next. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.